I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. OHS Radio Team will have a parent member meeting on Tuesday night um, at 6 p.m. in the cafeteria. Also, auditions for the first drama production of the year, An Evening of One Acts, will be next Thursday, August 29th at 2.30 in Ms. Rollerson's room, 8011. You will need a one-minute memorized monologue. There will be an informational meeting about the senior slideshow after school on Friday, August the 30th in Ms. Box's room, 7012. Only seniors can help create the senior slideshow that will be played on class day at the end of the year. If you want to be part of creating memories for the class of 2020, please attend. Signups for the Host of Blood Drive will initiate Thursday, August 22nd and will continue until Wednesday, August 28th. The Blood Drive is Thursday, August 29th. You can sign up with the Host of Representative during both lunches in the cafeteria. Remember, you must be at least 16 years of age to donate with the parent's consent. There will also be a raffle going on with two $50 gift cards and one $100 gift card. So please sign up, show up, donate, and save three lives. Sophomore class shirts are now on sale. Um, sizes small to extra large are $10, um, 2XL, $11, 3XL, $12. Order forms are available through your science classes and also for Ms. Gray in room 4112. Money and order forms are due by Friday, August 30th. There are three ways to buy your picture. You can use this when your teacher gives it to you to make your order. You can go online to mylifetouch.com or when your proof comes in after your picture, you can use that to purchase it. Some things about picture day. Um, take off your hats and lanyards. Don't forget to dress nice and wear a good time. And now for some don'ts. Don't wear green, no spaghetti straps, and please don't come in all sweaty. Did you hear the yearbooks are coming in? Yeah, I'm so excited for the yearbook jam. What are you guys talking about? The yearbook jam is when the yearbooks come in. And we go to the cafeteria and there's like food and stuff and people just sign the yearbooks and stuff. It's only for people that bought it early. Yeah, and I wish I bought my yearbook back in August. I bought mine at the cafeteria. Oh, that's cool. Well, how do you do that? You just go to yearbooksforever.com and type in your school, which would be Okeechobee High School, and then you get your yearbook. Welcome back, Brahmins. We want to give a huge shout out to Coach Harvey and our cheerleaders who helped make Fun Friday, a fun time in the cafeteria last week. I know that we couldn't have a pep rally, but we still had a great time. Hope you were able to see those pictures on Facebook. There might even have been a couple of videos out there of some dancing. So thank you very much. We appreciate that. Tomorrow is picture day. Everybody bring their money if they're buying pictures and bring your smiles. Um, you'll be heading down to the lecture hall throughout the day during your social studies classes, I believe, to get your pictures taken. All right, I want to give a shout out to uh, Girls Golf uh, against Sebastian. That's today. It is That's today. today. Yeah. So the season starts up. Uh, good luck to you girls. Um, are you going to talk about the lockdown or do yeah. you want me to go ahead? Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, uh, you know, you guys have just recently done a lockdown. So we want to make sure that uh, you keep in mind a few things. Number one is run, hide, and fight. Uh, that is a very important sentiment, if you will, should we get into a situation where you need to to get away from a situation, uh, run, hide, fight, uh, also known as alert. That's the new terminology being used throughout. Um, for me, it's just easier to remember run, hide, fight. Also, see something, say something. Um, you know, most of you guys are more adult than the adults that I know. Uh, so just make sure that if you see something that's suspicious, uh, any type of activity that may be harmful to you or to our peers, please say something about that. That's very important. 
Okay. I think that's it. Yeah, right. that's my, my notes on my hand. We want to give a huge shout out to those of you that came out to support your Brahmin football team last Friday. I know the game did not go the way that you intended it to go. However, we saw some really um, strong playing out there. One of the things about the Brahmin way is unity. Brahmins supporting Brahmins. I want you to keep that in mind as you move forward into this week. I believe we have a home game. I'm sorry, away game this Friday um, over. Uh, we want to make sure that you are supporting your Brahmins, whether at home or on the road. Um, gym floor update. Uh, like we said, we couldn't have a pep rally last week, but we have good news. They should be finishing up our gym floor sometime this week. We expect PE classes and practice to be able to resume next Tuesday. And then we have a company coming to work on the bleachers in our first home game. Knock on wood, it's going to be the following week on the 10th. So we hope to be able to get back in and see our brand new Brahmin floor. Blood drive is happening this week. Just a quick reminder, if you are not 18, you have to have parent permission, which means you have to have a parent signature on that release form. You also have to sign up ahead of time, so make sure you have your time slot. They are gonna be back in the cafeteria for signups beginning today. All right, our Brahmin Way focus this week is respect, and your quote of the week was respect for ourselves, guides our morals, but respect for others guides our manners. So how is respect guiding you this week? So that's our third hour Brahmin Way focus. I want you to move forward. Be great. And be Brahmins. All day. <laughs>